Okay, so first things first, we've got to make crust. Now for crust, we want to use a nine inch spring form pan, which I got right here. Line the spring form pan with parchment paper on the bottom. And then we're going to take a stick of butter and we're going to grease the sides of the pan like so, so that the crust does not stick. Lovely. And you can use your fingers and smear it around a little bit more. Assuming you've washed your hands, which you should have. Then, we're going to be taking two cups of crushed graham crackers, graham cracker crumbs, and we're going to mix into that our sugar, uh, right here, which is um, three tablespoons. I'm actually using two. I like a little less sweet. Three tablespoons of sugar. Voila. And then we're going to add in one half teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, mix all of that by hand, just so it's all nicely blended together. Then into that we pour one half cup of melted butter. So just drizzle that on in. Now, you're going to mix all that stuff together until it becomes nice and nice and thick, crusty material. Dump it in the bottom, press it in, press it up the sides. Don't let it get too thick, like down here around these corner edges, because you get that really thick, hard-to-eat crust. You don't really want that. Who wants a cracker? So try and keep it uniform the whole way through. And then we just plop it into the oven for 10 minutes. And that is step one of making the cheesecake. Next up, the cheesecake itself. Alrighty, so crust is over there cooling. Now we're going to go ahead and make the filling for the cheesecake. Now there's some advanced steps you need to do before you make this, which is take your cream cheese, which you'll have three of these packs here, doesn't have to be Philadelphia, 24 ounces of cream cheese, and don't worry, I'll put the recipe at the end of the video. 24 ounces of cream cheese. It needs to be room temperature. It mixes easier when there's room temperature. You're not going to get air bubbles. Air bubbles will ruin your cheesecake. The same goes for your eggs. Let them get up to room temperature. Their eggs are fine. You'll have four of those, four extra large eggs. Uh, those going later. So we start out with, if you've got it, a mixing paddle versus a whiskey paddle because this one, again, will throw air bubbles into the mix. So let's start off putting this bad boy on. And then... Now, as you're mixing, you're gonna to wanna to scrape the sides down and go at a low setting, because you wanna turn it slowly so that you can actually avoid the air bubbles. So we're gonna start out with just the cream cheese, then we're gonna add the sugar, and we're gonna add the flour. So now this is uh, one cup of sugar, three tablespoons of flour. So, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do the magic of editing, not make you listen to the noise of this. Now what I periodically do is I will stop it, drop it, scrape the sides. Alright, it's mixing in pretty well. Now, next up is going to be um, three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg and one cup of eggnog. Now, if you have access to Brogares eggnog. Woo. Brogares is some of the most freaking delicious, awesome eggnog ever. Liquid crack. So, I'm going to crank this back up, start the mixer again. And again, you want to scrape the sides as you're going, do it on low speed to avoid air bubbles. So we drop it for a moment, scrape the sides, scrape the paddles, 
Make sure that it all mixes nicely without having to over mix, which gives you the air bubbles. Again, I'm going to keep repeating this because air bubbles will give you a mediocre cheesecake. All right. And through the magic of video editing, it's going to be mixed. Magic! As you can probably see, I am not holding a spatula. I am holding these little measuring spoons, which I'm not actually even using right now. I just wanted to point out that they're my grandmother's measuring spoons. And every time that I bake, I break out grandma's measuring spoons. Hi, grandma. Anyway, next, we are going to be adding four large room temperature eggs. Now, they say to add them one at a time. I put them in here just because it looks prettier, but I will be adding them slowly, one at a time. Same as before, you want to scrape the sides after each egg mixes in. Okay, so finished with the uh, mixing process, all four of the eggs are added in. They are now right here in the uh, lovely, beautiful, mixed cheesecake batter. Now I'm going to pour this into the uh, pie crust. Now you notice it's got aluminum foil around it. That's because there are seams at the edges of a springform pan. This pan we're going to fill up as high as we can up the sides with water while it's baking. Now this is going to bake for an hour and a half at 130. Now the steam is going to keep it from getting a skin on top. It's going to help it cook evenly all the way around. You're going to get a really good textured cheesecake. After it's cooked for an hour and a half, then you're going to turn it off and it's going to sit for a half hour. Then you're going to take it out and it's going to sit for another half hour. It's a very long process cheesecake, but it's so worth it. And now the moment of truth. So I made a mistake. Uh, what I said earlier, you cook it for an hour and a half at 300 degrees, not 130. Hour and a half. That's where my brain went. An hour and a half, 300 degrees. Then turn the stove off. Let it go for another half hour closed with the heat off, cooling down. Then crack it open a little bit with the heat still off, let it cool for another half hour. So that's a total of two and a half hours in the oven. So one and a half hours at 300, half hour off, half hour off with the door cracked. And now let's see how it came out. A bunch of the water evaporated. Oh, check that out. The vision of loveliness. And there we have our finished cheesecake. Well, baked anyway. I'm going to let it sit there and cool down for maybe an hour. Then I'm going to go ahead and whip up some uh, eggnog whipped cream to do some decoration on it and then refrigerate it overnight and it'll be good to go. So I'm going to let this cool down and then we'll get to the uh, whipped cream decoration. Magic! I've used that one. All right, anyway, it is time to do the whipped cream. Now, I've got hand mixer, because I prefer using hand mixer for whipped cream just because I can feel the cream thickening and whipping the peaks a little bit easier. Everyone's got their own preference. Use a mixer if you prefer, like a big one. Uh, I like this. Uh, had the bowl in the freezer, had the beaters in the freezer. You want everything to be really, really cold when you do this. Uh, just works better. So, one cup of heavy cream, three tablespoons, of amazing eggnog and nine or ten tablespoons of powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. If you like it a little sweeter, go with ten. If you like it a little less sweet, go with nine. The eggnog kind of punches it up, so I'm doing nine on this one. So we dump it all in, we whip it to peaks. Now 
Now it's starting to thicken, which is good. Um, I like to, for this particular recipe, add just a pinch of gelatin if I'm not going to be serving it immediately. That way, the I, I like to do little pipetted peaks around the edges of the cheesecake. It holds its form a little better. That's everyone's personal preference. But once you're good to go, scoop it into your bag with a pipette tip and do your decorations. Knox gelatin, just a little bit, just to help it hold those peaks on my decorations. Just that much, not a ton. We don't want to turn this stuff into jello, but we do want it to hold its shape while it's uh, traveling if you're going to family's house and mix on high. And check that out. Whip into nice little foamy peaks there. You can see in the bowl, perhaps. There we go. So that is just about the texture that I want. And now we plop in the bag and decorate the cake. All right, so I put the cheesecake in the box here. And now I've got my filled bag with a little tip to it. I'm going to go and make some decorative eggnog, whipped cream, Mm, decorations around the uh, edges. What do you think? One in the middle? Bullseye of deliciousness? Boom! Bullseye of tasty. And there we have it. That is the eggnog cheesecake. All prepped, cooked, decorated, and ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please Comment down below if you feel like it. Uh, full recipe is down below as well. And uh, we'll see what comes next time. Thanks so much for watching.